Welcome to the best show in the universe, I'm Maddox. There are a number of things that suck about New York, and I'm going to tell you about them. Five. There are no grocery stores. New Yorkers think they have grocery stores, but they don't. What they have are bodegas. Shitty bodegas. A bodega is like a grocery store, except they have nothing you want, narrow aisles, and feral cats. They all advertise a variety of fresh produce on the front, but what they actually have are apples. Red, yellow, green, Fuji, Granny Smith, Red Delicious. They have plenty of apples, but God forbid you need actual sustenance like meat or vegetables. They don't have that, but they have apples for fucking days. Yeah, New York has an occasional Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, but they literally have six Trader Joe's for the entire city. So that averages to about 1.6 million customers per store. Think I'm exaggerating? There's a line just to get into Trader Joe's. And once you're in, you have to wait in line just to get out. Pass. The subway system sucks. I've traveled all over the world and I've used the subway system in Hong Kong, Paris, London, Dubai, and Hungary, and New York's subway system is by far the worst. Of all the subways in the world, New York's is the only one I've ever been lost in, and I speak English. Why? Because of this. This is a service change notice that the subway is closed. Yes, in the year 2012, the largest city in the United States and the financial capital of America relies upon printed paper that is affixed with scotch tape to girders in the subway system. These papers are often torn, vandalized, and peed upon. And even when they're not, good luck deciphering the major of odd hours and days that the subway is closed. Here's a hint, it's always. Three. Three. New Yorkers think they're the cultural center of the universe. The number one pastime in New York is talking about New York. People just can't shut the fuck up about New York. New Yorkers believe that everything happens in New York and that everyone wants to be in New York. They can't imagine how anyone could be happy anywhere else and they constantly try to convince you to move to New York. It's a mantra they repeat to themselves as a form of cognitive dissonance to convince themselves that it's okay to step over bum vomit on their way to work. There are 290 million people in America who live someplace else by choice. Here are some of the reasons they live someplace else. Yards, good weather, pets, reasonable rent, gardens, and sunlight. Two. Two. The city doesn't look distinct. The city isn't old enough to be old and isn't new enough to be new. It looks like every other big city. Don't believe me? Take this quiz to see if you can tell which city is New York. If you answered anything, you were wrong. This is Philly, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Portland. If you've been to any modern mid or large sized city, you've been to New York. One, 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 one. Pizza. New York pizza has ruined pizza. I don't know how or why, but somehow the entire United States thinks that New York pizza is the measuring stick to measure all other pizzas. I've been to restaurants that import their dough from New York, and New Yorkers still scoff at the pizza as being inauthentic. You can import the water, you can import the ingredients, you can import the flour, but it doesn't matter. Somehow, for some reason, New Yorkers always find some excuse to bitch about the pizza everywhere else. Ever hear anyone from Chicago say, Oh, this pizza's pretty good, but it's no Chicago pizza. No, that's because Chicagoans don't care. They know that not all pizza is trying to be Chicago-style pizza, unlike New Yorkers. There's nothing magical about New York pizza. It looks and tastes nothing like pizza in Rome. In fact, I've been to Rome, and the pizza there comes in square slices and has lots of toppings. New York pizza comes in big floppy triangles that collapse in on themselves that you have to fold over like a calzone, and instead of getting lots of toppings, you get none. Frankly, I'm glad you can still get a good slice of non-New York-style pizza, because I think pizza tastes better when you're not eating it on a high horse. Now it's time for hate mail. The first hate mail comes to us from John, and John writes, Here's my opinion. You're such an idiot. If you're not unemployed, how did you make the website? You must have a one-hour job. Face it, QuickTime was developed by Mac. So if you don't like Mac, don't use their programs. Also, many photo editing things like Adobe is based around Final Cut, which who makes that? Macintosh, that's who. I bet you can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Just my opinion, that's all. Hey John, here's a quick fact check of your email. First, Macs are a product and not a company. So no, QuickTime and Final Cut were not created by Macintosh, they were created by Apple. By your logic, this video was created by Video Camera. Next you say if I don't like Macs, then I shouldn't use their programs. No problem, I don't. And then you say that Adobe is a type of photo editing thing. It's not, Adobe is also a company. And finally, you don't need to tell people that something you just said is your opinion. We know based on the fact that you just said it and it came from you. The only notable exception is when I call you an idiot, which is a demonstrable fact. Until next time, I'm Maddox.